Good morning, Enid. It is 7.30 on this Thursday, May 31st. Oh, wow. We've ran out of days in May. It's incredible. Thank you for joining us for the next 30 minutes as we have news, weather, and sports, and uh, just entertaining uh, information for you. And we have a special uh, two guests today. And I guess this is our belated Memorial Day show, if you will. We are coming to you live from the Enid Television Network studios, but our theme today is all about um, saluting the men and women who serve our country have served and are currently serving. This is Good Morning Enid. It is time to rise and shine. Good morning, Enid. Thanks again for joining us today on this nice 68 degree day. Let's check, take a look at that uh, local forecast since school is over and there's no more bus stop. It's partly cloudy right now, 68 degrees, gonna get up to a high of 92 later today and tonight's low will be around 72. Uh, there was a chance of an early shower or thunderstorm, but I think that has already passed us. So I think the rest of the day should be pretty nice, if not just really humid. But hopefully the weekend looks a little bit better. <laughs> yeah, driving in earlier this morning, you could see the sun was trying to come up in the east, but the clouds were kind of protecting us. Mm -hmm. So, welcome back, Sarah. We missed you. <laughs> we're supposed to say that we missed you. No, <laughs> good, we really good. did. We missed you. Thank you, and then we want to say thank you for coming back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Steve. Um, well, Aaron, when you mentioned 92, I think 92 sounds really good when we've had some really hot days, yeah. but this is our weekend uh, or how a weekend looks. We are gonna have um, a pretty hot um, and sort of windy and kind of cloudy uh, weekend as you can see. Um, so it's it's practically summer, I'd say, but yeah. <laughs> I, think, I, think, I think they call that the century mark. Anytime we get to 100, they call that the century mark for whatever reason. It's 732, thanks for joining us for show number 172, we were just kind of reminiscing of all the guests that we've had, and we certainly appreciate the opportunity to come into your home and also to, to live stream the program around the globe. We want to say hi to all of our global friends that tune in to Good Morning Nina. Thank you for joining us each Thursday morning. Okay, statewide temps. Uh, the eastern part of the state was having some rain recently, so they may be just a little bit cooler, but it looks like it's the opposite all the way in Goodwill. Is that, is that 60 degrees? Yes, it like is. It. All the way 60, okay. And the big city of Cheyenne is 68. Colgate, in the southeast part of the state, is 75. A little bit more warm and humid, so you can see uh, what the, the temperature is. So, in Gans, Oklahoma, isn't that where uh, the OSU basketball player was from? Uh, Cowboy Reeves? Um, I'm we, not we sure. may have to ask our, our three guys behind the scenes. I, I, but, Big Country, yes, thank you, AJ. <laughs> Big Country Reeves, I think he was from Gans, Oklahoma. Uh, he was a rather standout basketball player for Oklahoma State years ago. Okay, maybe we can take a look at the radar. If you're planning on traveling east, that's where the moisture is or that's where the rain is that passed through the night. You can kind of see that line, typical cold front or the weather front uh, kind of northeast to southwest across Oklahoma pushing the showers to the east. Again, this has been a good week for rain here in northwestern Oklahoma. Panhandle has got some great rain, of course, seen it as well, so we like that. Well, again, thank you for joining us. Good morning, it's 734, and to keep us updated on the news and happenings overnight, we always go to Derek Silas, who's dressed as the bow tie guy with the Oklahoma. Champlain Pool opened for the 2018 season this Tuesday. Park employees gave a tour of the facilities and the process on a Facebook Live video, which can be see, seen on the city's Facebook and YouTube pages. And the summer reading program will begin tomorrow at the Enid Public Library. This year's theme is Libraries Rock. As a reminder, voter registration deadline is tomorrow to be eligible, eligible to vote in the June 26th primary election. 
And in sports, the NBA Finals game one kicks off tonight at 8 p.m. with the Cavaliers and Warriors. This is the fourth straight year they meet in the finals, with the Warriors having won two and the Cavaliers one championship. We shall see what happens this year. Here's a fun fact. Choctaw is the oldest charted town in Oklahoma. It gained status as a town in 1893. And on this day in history, in 1859, the famous tower clock known as Big Ben, located at the top of the 320-foot-high St. Stephen's Tower, rings out over the Houses of a Parliament in London for the first time. And that's the Oklahoma Minute. Thank you for that information, Derek. Um, we do... I'm sorry, we're getting smarter every week, right? <laughs> we do. If we pay attention, we're getting smarter every week. Well, we should be, so that <laughs> definitely makes us smarter. <laughs> we do want to take a, some time to remind you all, uh, if you want to send in any questions, comments, or photos you would like to share with us, um, please send them to gme at ina.org. We would love to share them here with everybody um, on the show. Um, I don't think we got any to this no, week, so... Uh, uh, probably the next picture is those cows are going to be in a pond <laughs> with 100 degree weather this weekend. They're, they're probably going to be neck deep in water, so... <laughs> so there, there it is. Definitely send those in to our, our, our cows who are always faithfully waiting. Um, if you're looking for anything to do this weekend, there's always tons to do here in Enid. And to let us know what's happening is Aaron. Thanks, Sarah. It is, there definitely is a bunch of stuff to do this weekend, especially since today is the last day of May, making tomorrow the first Friday in June. So first Friday is tomorrow night from 6 to 10. And at first Friday, there's also Relay for Life, which is the big event happening there. Um, it's raising awareness for cancer research. And there will be live music, balloons, face painting, everything that usually goes along with first Friday. So stores will be open late. You'll be able to go to all your favorite restaurants. But there's also going to be this Relay for Life going on. And this is an event, if you've never done it before, where teams take turn walking along a path and there must always be one team member walking to signify that cancer never sleeps. And they're collecting donations and it'll definitely go, all go to research, cancer research. So it's definitely a great event to go to. Plus First Friday is going on, so it's always really fun. Then on Friday and Saturday is the 2018 Garden Tour. Um, there'll be six, six different locations, which you can see a little bit on the screen, but there's also on the website. Some of them will be at um, different master gardeners' homes, so you can go and see what, learn a lot about um, different how they keep track of their plants, how to all this just all this different stuff about gardening techniques and learning about different plants be, from these master gardeners. And the there will be live music on the Friday, which goes from 6:30 to 9, and then the morning of Saturday goes from 9 to 12 a.m. or 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. And there will be, it all goes to benefiting the OSU Horticultural Scholarship. And then Saturday morning, there's the Race for Jace 5K, one mile walk and fun run, which is Saturday at 9 a.m. at Crossland Park. And all pr proceeds will be going to galactosemia research, which um, is a rare genetic metabolic disorder that does not allow the individual to metabolize the sugar galactose properly. And this is found in dairy, avocado, sugar beet, so a lot of like really typical foods. And there's no treatment or cure currently. And so all this is going to go to this research for this little boy named Jace, who is seven years old. So definitely go out there. I'm going to be out there running. So if you want to come run with us, definitely come out and go to Crossland Park on Saturday morning. And that's what's happening. Very good. Thank you, Erin. That's, that's a long laundry list. Yeah. yeah. Sarah came, came alive when she heard about First Friday. So. <laughs> good morning, Nina. It's 738, and we're celebrating our like I said, kind of a belated uh, Memorial Day program for you. Uh, just due to the calendar, it kind of worked out that way, but we have a special program for you today. And, and uh, I know I'm just six, seven months older than the two of you, a little bit older, <laughs> but uh, as a kid growing up, we, we called Memorial Day, it was called Decoration Day. And you always went to the grave site to de decorate graves of loved ones and, and military. And from Decoration Day, it kind of went on to Memorial Day and then it went from Memorial Day to a day at the lake day. So it's really, <laughs> it's really changed. Well, this past weekend, I went to the cemetery at Perry, see my mother's grave and some other family members and military. And uh, it, it was so moving to see all the flags. We, you just stood there and you looked all across the prairie of the cemetery and there was just flag after flag. So it was a very moving time. And that's kind of our, our backdrop today as we have the flag behind us 
to just pay tribute to the men and women who've given so much that we have the opportunity to do what we do and the freedom to do so. And we say thank you to them and also thank you to uh, their families who've served as well. Well, we have an interview coming up with Bob Ford and also local uh, Doug France who served in Vietnam. We'll have that uh, interview in just a few moments, but we have just a brief video to introduce that video and we want to show that to you right now. Now this is a gun. To me, it's a big gun. And I imagine this gun's got plenty of stories and maybe some memories that it could share with us. Here we are Memorial Day once again, and it's all about memories. It's all about remembering. We're at the Woodring Regional Airport, Veterans Park, and also the Wall of Honor. Across the street, we see the Vietnam War Wall Memorial, where there's 58,272 names on that monument. Today, we remember on Memorial Day. We were overseas at uh, a real rough time in the war. And we had so many friends, 1967 and 68, uh, about uh, half the casualties in Vietnam were incurred in those two years, and the war was very intense. As an Army aviator, you knew you were gonna be th thrown into action pretty quick. And I flew my first combat mission 30 minutes after I reached my my destination. Uh, the war was a huge deal in those days. You know, there were more people killed in Vietnam than, uh, well, since World War II, all the wars we've been in since, uh, there were more people killed in Vietnam. People have forgotten what a big war that was and how, uh, how much effect that it had on all the young men. When we got out of school, you either had to go to Vietnam in the service or find a way out. I can certainly say for the men I served with and those that were lost and those that have been, that have died since that I, I was close to, every one of them were dedicated to our country. I think of the fellows that I went to, to Marine Basic School with, uh, there were about 400 of us that went overseas and uh, 40 were killed, right at uh, one out of 10, maybe one out of 12, and uh, some of the finest men I've ever known. And I think of those lives that were snuffed out so early. I think of all the guys that stepped up to serve. I think of them every day. There's not one day that does not go by that I think of those that I served with in Vietnam, not one. I had an awful lot of friends that died over there. And when I think of Memorial Day, uh, uh, it's kind of a lest we forget situation. I, uh, I can't stand the thought that these fellows that we knew and uh, some of them we loved uh, died and uh, they need to be remembered. I remember the first thing I thought of when I had to go identify 
one of my men at a morgue. The first thing that came in on my mind was, my God, what is mama going to say when she's notified? I brought along a newspaper 49 years ago in a couple of days. This is May 13th of 68, so uh, almost 49 years ago to the day. And there's two pictures in this paper. One of them's me, and one of them's a guy named Billy Kiley, who was an Enid boy. And I think of Billy. His family had the Texaco service station on the corner of Garriott and Johnson. Everybody knows that corner. And uh, Billy worked there, fine young fella. I didn't know him that well, but uh, we traded at that station all the time. Both of our pictures are in the paper that morning. I was wounded, fortunately, and lived to tell about it. Billy was killed. And I think it, of all the 58,000 moms that were notified and what their grief must have been, it had to, tragic scenes were played out day in and day out all the years of the war. We were told that we were the highest decorated class ever to go through the basic school. Uh, which is, was amazing to me. But uh, the reason was, was very clear. We all went, we graduated in 67. We all were overseas in uh, 67, 68, which again was the height of the war. And so we had such high casualties. And almost everybody, we've, I've been to a reunion or two, and almost everybody has a Purple Heart. There was just, there was so much metal flying around in Vietnam in those years, you couldn't help but get hit at some point. Bob Ford, my dear friend, and a man I consider an American hero, a true hero, I don't think he got hit over there, but it's absolutely amazing that he didn't. He flew into the, the worst places in uh, i Corps, that's the north part of Vietnam, and if he came away without a scratch, the Lord was watching over him because uh, uh, he was in the worst of the worst of the places over there and, and did things that uh, most wouldn't dare to do. Today, when you think of Memorial Day, you may think of a picnic, you may think of a holiday, time to go to the lake, and you may just think of uh, Memorial Day as the time to go and honor the men and women who sacrificed their lives for the freedoms that, that we enjoy today. I recall as a kid growing up, Memorial Day, it was called Decoration Day. And uh, it was always Decoration Day to me as a kid. I remember my mom would say, okay, Steve, let's go to the cemetery, let's grab the flowers, it's Decoration Day. So we'd load everything up in the car, go to the cemetery, and we would put flowers on all of our family members and also servicemen and women that had died during um, wars. Whatever you call Memorial Day, if it's just a holiday or day of remembrance, I think as Americans, it's important that we set aside some time on this designated day to remember. As a country, we set aside this day to remember those that stepped up. But believe me, those that did, we think of the, every day's a Memorial Day for us. Every person that dies in service of the country deserves our uh, eternal gratitude. But uh, so many of those, uh, uh, particularly in the Vietnam War, uh, weren't given uh, uh, the accolades that they probably deserved because the war was rather unpopular. There's always gonna be somebody to step up and defend this country. There always will be. The reason I stepped up to serve and volunteered to serve was because the World War II guys did it, and I always expected, they expected me to do it. And I wish all the people that are uh, able to live their wonderful lives that didn't have to serve uh, and were protected by these guys that are represented here would just give it a little uh, significant thought and. Uh, Take a little time to come out here instead of just going on a picnic. Pay respects. Just take a moment and just go out by yourself somewhere, or even better, grab your kid. Grab your kid and, and just say, you know what? This country's wonderful, sweetheart. Hey, my pal, your boy or girl, whoever your young kid is, and just tell them this is the most wonderful country in the world. Go to your mom. Mom, thanks. Thanks for being my mom and raising me in this wonderful country. Talk to your brother and sister and s tell them that, you know what? Let's both together say what a wonderful tribute this is. Be able to 
pay tribute to all the gold, all those that stepped up. Please do that. Decorating and honoring. On this Memorial Day, we remember. Two fellas that lived right across the hall from me were both KIA, Beeler and Broge, both on the wall. There's nothing better than to serve your country with dedication and honor. Every one of us did it. Special thanks to uh, Bob Ford and also Doug France that helped us with that video. Uh, we, we taped that last year, but it, uh, it certainly doesn't go out of style. It's, it's a nice, solemn reminder of the price that's been paid for the freedom that we have. And as many uh, times they tell us, uh, freedom is not free. So I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, we appreciate uh, AJ and Dane and Penn, their work behind the scenes to producing that video. And again, special thanks to Doug Ford and, or excuse me, Doug France and Bob Ford for their contribution. 751, Sarah. That's right. And in case you jo you're joining us now and you missed Derek earlier, here is Derek with the Oklahoma Minute. Tuesday, Chaplin Pool opened for the 2018 season, and park employees gave a tour of the facilities and the process in a Facebook Live video, which can be seen on our Facebook and YouTube pages. Summer reading program will begin tomorrow at the Enid Public Library. This year's theme is Libraries Rock. And as a reminder, voter registration deadline is tomorrow to be eligible to vote in the June 26th primary election. In sports, the NBA final game, one, kicks off tonight at 8 p.m. with the Cavaliers versus the Warriors. And here's a fun fact. Choctaw is the oldest chartered city or town in Oklahoma. It gained status as a town in 1893. And on this day in history, in 1859, the famous tower clock known as Big Ben rings out over the Houses of Parliament for the first time. And that's the Oklahoma Minute. Now, here's Kevin for more upcoming events at the Central National Bank Center. Welcome to the Central National Bank Center. I'm the General Manager, Kevin Brisky, and a lot of exciting things coming up in the next four to five months here. It all begins here in the month of June. June 14th, Easton Corbin, young up-and-coming country artist, will be right here behind me at the Central National Bank Center. And uh, tickets for that, $19, $29, $39, and $49. It's a very affordable show. Um, great country music. There'll be an opening act as well. We're really looking forward to that, and that one is on June 14th. Then on June 30th, Newsboy, the United Tour coming here. Takes the four current members of Newsboys, adds the two original members, all six performing together on one stage. Going to bring a great night of music, worship and praise. And if you haven't seen them in concert, they put on an awesome show. Um, so you don't want to miss that one. Tickets for that start at $27. Then in August, Lone Star here on August 2nd. Tickets for that begin at only $29. Great country act. Their song, Amazed. Number one on the country charts and the pop charts. Only one of two songs to do that, uh, which uh, we're really excited to have them here, and they have a bunch of number one hits. Uh, check them out, and uh, you'll be surprised how many of their songs you actually know. And then, speaking of number one country hits, Ronnie Millsap going to be here on September 23rd. He has 40 number one country hits. Only a couple artists have more than he does as far as number one country hits go. So he's going to be right here on the CMB Center stage, and that's going to be September 23rd. Tickets for that start at $39. And then for the family, Paw Patrol here November 27th and November 28th. Three shows, uh, 6 p.m. on that Tuesday, 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. on that Wednesday. Um, you won't want to miss that one. A lot of fun for the family. One of the top family shows going on right now, Paw Patrol. We'll be here at the CMB Center on November 27th and November 28th. So as you can see, we have a lot going on these next few months. We're still adding to that lineup, so stay tuned. But uh, we have something for everyone. Check out everything we have coming up. And we also have Comic-Con on August 4th and 5th as well. Uh, tickets for that only $10 a day. So uh, something for everyone here at the CMB Center. Look forward to seeing you out here. Uh, tickets, cmbcenter.com, 855 ticks needed. Or just stop down and see us at the box office located down on the second floor of Convention Hall at the Central National Bank Center. Until next time, we send it back into the studio with you, Steve.
Until next time. Okay, Kevin, thank you very much. Great job as always. Good morning, Nina. It's 7.55, and uh, we're working way, our way to a high of 92 degrees today. And speaking of the temperature, Sarah, let's take a look at the three-day forecast one more time. Yes, here it is. It's going to be <coughs> a hot one this weekend. Uh, we're going to have some wind and some clouds, um, but it's definitely going to be a very warm weekend. So something to think about when you're about to step outside. <laughs> yeah, something to think about while you're out there melting. Very good. We'd like to remind you that uh, on Tuesday, June 5th, we have a city council meeting, but we have a big ribbon cutting event. The, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, the Thunder Courts at Don Haskin Courts uh, will be dedicated, uh, re uh, reopened, <clears throat> excuse me. And uh, anyway, the Thunder Cares Foundation will be uh, in town next Tuesday. And at 11 a.m., there will be a ribbon cutting ceremony at Don Haskins Court uh, dedicating the new court. So. Bring all the kids, bring all the big kids, and the basketball court will be open, and uh, that, that will be fun. And uh, if you're able to stay with us until 8 o'clock, about four minutes from right now, had the opportunity to visit with the Oklahoma State University President, Burns Hargis. And that visit with Burns is coming up. There's a picture of Burns. Great visit, uh, very enlightening uh, individual talking about Oklahoma State University, and that's coming up at 8 o'clock. So, okay, one of our favorite segments, right? That's right. One of our favorite segments is definitely to give you all the opportunity to adopt a pet. So we do want to take the time to introduce Chuck. And to do that, Chuck. here is uh, Charlotte. Hi, good morning. Today we have Chuck. Chuck is in pen 11 and he is a one-year-old male uh, yellow lab and Chuck is looking for a new home. He's really playful and sweet and he needs a family he can grow up with. So stop by Animal Control and meet Chuck. Thank you, Charlotte, and we want to say thank you for all the animal control um, officers that help us take care of our animals, and 249-4910 is the number to call in regard to that. Um, did we have it on the screen? Did I mention we have a city council meeting next Tuesday? The big, the big event next Tuesday, of course, is the ribbon cutting, but uh, keep in mind, next Tuesday will be the first uh, city council meeting and the study session for the month of June. June, Sarah. <laughs> I don't know. I'm telling you, it'll be, it'll be Christmas before <laughs> you know it. <laughs> so, anyway, that's uh, some of the events coming up next week. So, well, we're just about a minute away. Um, what was your Memorial Day weekend? Did, did you go anywhere? Did you rest? Did well, you, uh, I feel a little bad, especially after watching um, the interview. Well, I should. went to the you lake. Oh, I you went did. to the lake. Oh, no. And I don't think that I did. That takes courage to admit that. Yes, but. <laughs> but it's a good, like you said, it's, it was a really good message um, during the show today because I won't be doing the same thing next year. Uh, definitely, yeah. uh, freedom doesn't freedom doesn't come free. So yeah. it's definitely something we need to consider. And, and we're not against going to the lake by any, no means. But we can Hit definitely the cemetery. take a minute yeah. away from the chips and, yeah. you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go to the cemetery on your way to the lake or whatever. It's, it's, it's family time and, and it's time to thank those that have, have done so much for us. So, well, I hope you enjoyed the show today. And uh, again, it's going to be a hot and humid 92 degrees on this Thursday, May 31. Have a good rest of the month of, bank, month of May. Boy, that's tough to say. <laughs> and get ready for June, which is tomorrow. Uh, any other closing thoughts? Have a great one. Thank you, everyone. Make it a great day. <laughs>